These are the home care products that I use that I think are critical for people with multiple chemical sensitivity. However, even if you don't have any sensitivities or health issues, I still recommend these for even totally healthy people because it's only gonna benefit you to protect yourself from harmful chemicals, limit exposures, and have better long-term health. So I'll start with the most important one, laundry detergent. So I've gone through tons of different laundry detergents. They've all affected my health really, really poorly for many years. The one that I settled on, the only one that I recommend is Molly Suds. This is the baby formula laundry powder. And it's a bit different. There's no liquid, but that's great because there's nothing to kind of evaporate and breathe in. Um, the only thing that I recommend with these is you put it in a jar, I add a little water, and I shake it before I add it to the washing machine so that the powder fully dissolves. Next would be soap. So for liquid soap, I recommend Dr. Bronner's. This is a hemp-based, pure Castile, unscented uh, liquid soap. And for the solid soap, I recommend, uh, this is Kiss My Face Olive Oil Soap. It's only got three ingredients, water, salt, and saponified olive oil. There's literally no use of any of the other crazy ingredients that you see when you read the label on uh, highly manufactured soap bars. They, they don't do anything. This works just as good as any other soap and it's just not full of chemicals. Then when it comes to cleaning, like for example, toilet bowl, um, you can use just simple baking soda and vinegar, uh, sprinkle some baking soda on, add some, vinegar is kind of heavy, uh, kind of lingering smell, so don't add too much vinegar. Um, and I, if you're cleaning the bathroom, for example, that's really easy because after you use the vinegar, um, you can just close the door to the bathroom, keep that closed, open a window in the, in the bathroom if you can to, to air it out. But uh, at least you're not using something like bleach, which lingers around for a very long time and has a long half-life. Um, I typically try to stay away from any kind of like counter cleaner sprays, stuff like that. But sometimes if I have to use some cleaner spray, I'll... Uh, I'll just make a solution of 50% alcohol. So I'll take Everclear. Uh, this is better than Graves because it's filtered more times. So it removes some of the impurities that make the nasty smell that it has. Um, just dilute this in 50% water, put it in a spray bottle, uh, and you can use just some alcohol, which can help actually remove some smells. Uh, for dishes, uh, I use this uh, palm olive pure and clear. It says no unnecessary ingredients on it. Um, it's fragrance free and dye free. It's not a perfect MCF safe solution, but it at least doesn't have the really triggering smells. Uh, and this has worked good enough for me so far. Toothpaste is a really big one. This is something that's actually affected me a lot. And I've spent like years looking through different toothpaste. Um, the two things that I'm concerned about in toothpaste are number one, titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is in a lot of toothpaste. It's really bad for your teeth because it's really abrasive and it wears down your enamel. But um, it's also really bad if you were to swallow any of that, uh, get in your system. It can cause other health complications. So stay away from titanium dioxide. Uh, the other thing that you should stay away from it in these is sodium lauryl sulfate. That's in a lot of different toothpaste. It can lead to autoimmune complications, particularly mouth ulcers. That's really bad. And I've tried a lot of the, there's toothpaste that are organic, quote unquote, safe stuff, plant-based, uh, but they have a, they're full of extracts in them. And those extracts, they actually make me feel loopy. So I don't use those either. The only one that I settled on is this anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste from CVS. It's fluoride free. It doesn't have titanium dioxide. It doesn't have sodium lauryl sulfate. Uh, and this I found has worked the best so far. And then in terms of, uh, so for girls, uh, for makeup, you can get these MG Naturals, titanium dioxide free foundation, other cosmetics, makeup. Um, it comes from Australia. It's actually not too expensive. Uh, so it's vegan, all that stuff. Uh, it's safe product. I recommend that. And for any type of moisturizer, I, there's two options that I recommend. Number one is 
just coconut oil. You can just take a little bit of coconut oil, uh, rub it on your skin, um, and there's no chemicals in coconut oil, totally safe. And I love the smell. And the second thing you can do, if you have any aloe plants at home, you can cut the aloe leaves, you scoop out the insides and put it in an ice cube tray and freeze the aloe as little ice cubes. And these are good for a long time. They're good for like six months. And when you rub it on this, your skin, it's great because, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of ice therapy, uh, that's good for your skin, your pores, and also aloe is full of vitamins, nutrients, antioxidants, uh, it's great stuff for your skin. So I recommend that. Two other quick recommendations I have for you guys are number one, if you're buying any furniture, I recommend getting laminated wood. Anything that's like varnished is definitely a no-go. Uh, I don't recommend any painted metal either. I looked at a bunch of different cabinets. I was trying to find something. I settled on, this one is from Ikea. I think it's like the Billy bookcase. It's got laminated wood, which has like, there's virtually like no smell or off gassing to this at all. The only thing that was a problem was the backboard was really toxic. So uh, I got rid of that and just had cut uh, one eighth inch thick piece of wood that I got uh, from Home Depot that I fit in for the backboard. So I'm trying to find a whole unit that you could just put together and you don't have to get any other pieces. I haven't found anything like that yet, but generally speaking, I recommend uh, this laminated wood. And lastly, because where you sleep is so important, I recommend you go organic cotton with your sheets. And then you could get this, I got this from Walmart, uh, the, brand is called Naturally Sleeping. It's a wool mattress topper. It's a couple hundred dollars, but it's totally worth it. This thing has got virtually no no smell. Uh, the cover is cotton and the stuffing in it is wool. It's really comfortable. Just stay away from memory foam. Memory foam off gases like crazy, super toxic. You don't want to put your face in that and be breathing that in all the time. So I recommend those.